there was this poet uh, in, in ancient Arabia, pre-Islamic Arabia, very famous poet. People loved his poetry. And yet he was extremely poor. So people love him, but he doesn't have anything to show for it, <laughs> basically. So one day he's reciting this poem at home about how generous he is. Which is kind of ironic, you kind of have to be wealthy before you can be generous, right? So <laughs> he's making poetry about his generosity, and his wife tells him, what are you doing? We don't even have food to eat. And you're making poetry about generosity? And he turns to her, and he makes another poem to her. He just kind of, on the fly, recites a bit of poetry to her. And he says, As-Sayyidu harbun ala makanin ali. Heavy rain, this is, imagine this guy is in a fight with his wife, he turns to his wife and he says, heavy rain doesn't get along with a house on top of a mountain. <laughs> what? I always thought you're crazy, now I know you're crazy. <laughs> heavy rain doesn't get along with a house on top of a mountain. A sayyidu harbun ala makanin ali. Very famous piece of poetry. What he meant by that is something interesting. It's imagery. Imagine a house on top of where? A mountain. And also imagine what's going on? It's raining really heavily. Okay. Where does the water go? Does it flood the house or does it trickle to the bottom of the mountain? Does the water stay on top? It trickles to the bottom. He's saying, look, wealth comes from God. Like rain comes from the sky. And people that are higher up in their spiritual level, in their ethical character, they're higher up, it's like they live on top of a mountain. And so when wealth does come, they keep giving it away. And so let it form the puddles on the bottom. The people that are down there, drained in wealth, they're lowly people, I'm way too high to get rich. Right? But he says all of that by saying, look, heavy house, rain, don't get along. <laughs> So they spoke in this kind of code, you know? And it's really fun to decipher the code, to figure it out. And then they had this thing with people who could figure it out, they call them Arab. You know, one of the meanings of Arab, uh, the, the word Arab is depth. This guy's deep, he got it. And the one who didn't get it, they call him Ajab, he's impaired. His mind isn't that sharp. So they, they spoke in these riddles. So let's go back to this parable for a minute. Three kinds of hearts represents what? Represents what? Three kinds of, so three kinds of rocks represent three kinds of hearts. Okay. So there's a person who hears, you know, they, they've been thinking about God, a purpose in life. Why am I on this earth? Where am I going to go after I'm dead? You know, why, you know, why is there injustice in the world? They're asking themselves these deep philosophical questions. That is not most of us. But there are people like that in the world that ask themselves, genuinely ask themselves, not what's for dinner, but what am I doing here? What is truth? What is justice? They ask themselves these deep philosophical questions. You call them geeks and weirdos. You know, history called them philosophers. You might even have friends like that, that are really like nerdy. They're thinkers. They don't really like to go to the party. They don't want to go hang out. You know, every time you see them, they're reading a book. Or they're just gazing into the stars. Just lost in thought. You know, those kinds of people, they're always lost in that kind of deeper thought. So when the solution to those problems is brought to them, and it clicks, is there any hesitation before they just gush out and say, yes, this is it, this is what I was looking for? Immediately, there's an excitement. Just like a rock, that what happens to it? It just gushes out. Water, by the way, in the Quran, water is, is uh, representative of purity. Water represents purity. And water also represents faith. Water also represents faith. So water inside the rock is faith inside the heart. This person had a faith inside of them. They were looking for something to confirm that faith. Revelation came and it clicked with what was already inside and the rock just burst open. 